After acquiring Tyreek Hill and Raheem Mostert in 2022 and drafting Devon Achan in 2023, the Miami Dolphins had one of the most explosive offenses and may have found their secret formula to beat their opponents with a blistering speed in McDaniel's high-octane offensive scheme. Now that they have locked up young star Jalen Waddell to a three-year contract extension and added veteran Odell Beckham in free agency, the Miami Dolphins are looking to repeat their track team-style offense that came in first in passing yards, first in passing yards per game, second in points per game, and first in the NFL in yards per game. But this time, they added a potent playmaking draft steal who will help elevate this offense even more, and his name is Malik Washington. Coming in at 5'8", 191 pounds out of the University of Virginia, Malik Washington came into the 2024 NFL Draft as one of the most slept-on, underrated wide receiver due to his explosive 2023 season. Projected in most mock drafts to be a late day two, early day three draft pick, Washington did not hear his name called until the sixth round and the Miami Dolphins may have gotten one of the top draft steals. Although wide receiver wasn't a huge priority in the NFL draft, it's definitely a position they needed to look into from a depth and contract perspective. Tyreek Hill carries a cap hit of $30 million plus the next few years, and with nothing guaranteed in his contract in 2026, he will be looking to renegotiate his contract to get Justin Jefferson-type money or test free agency before 2026, and Odell is only on a one-year deal. Some of you may not know much about Malik Washington, but here are some interesting stats from his college career that will quite surprise you. In 2023, he led the nation in receptions with 110 receptions, fourth in the nation with 1,426 receiving yards, third in the nation with yards after catch with 710, and first in the nation with 35 missed tackles forced. He had the highest graded receiving grade on short targets out of all wide receiver prospects with 90.7, which is nearly automatic between 1 to 9 yards. In late down situations, he recorded 22 first down conversions, which leads the whole wide receiver class. Against zone coverage, he recorded 78 receptions for 873 yards, which leads the rookie class in both categories. From 2021 to 2023, he is ranked fourth in non-screen receiving grade, only behind Marvin Harrison Jr., Malik Neighbors, and Jacob Cohen. And believe it or not, since 2021, he leads the nation with 50 forced missed tackles, which is more than Malik Neighbors, who's only had 35. Washington started his college career on a subpar Northwestern team from 2021 to 2022, in which he only dropped two passes and forced 20 plus forced missed tackles, which is fifth in the nation. He has one of the best career drop rate percentages with 2.5%, which is the best out of all receivers in this class with at least 150 targets. And he also has an astonishing contested catch rate of 56.7% throughout his career, which plays a big part from his toughness and freakish 42 and a half vertical leap, which is second out of all receivers in the NFL combine. Washington may have one of the best hands coming into the draft and run after catch artists that force missed tackles for big plays. Malik Washington may be looked at as a slot in the NFL due to his stature, but he is a spectacular route runner who can win at all levels in the NFL and do not let his size confuse you in jump ball situations. Whether that's playing the slot, out wide, jet sweeps, or even a return specialist until he gets a starting role, don't be surprised if McDaniels gets him involved at some point in this high-octane speedy offense who can make an immediate impact. With uncertainty, with Tyreek Hill's contract and Odell's one-year deal, Washington is a name to look out for in this offense, fantasy football, and has huge upside to play a huge role for this Dolphins team as he will work alongside Jalen Waddell in years to come, especially when they lock up Tua with a long-term contract soon. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoy the content, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel as I do make weekly football content every Mondays and Friday. Thank you so much and catch you next time.